the haze over Singapore may persist, possibly to September or October. This was reviewed by Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong on Thursday in a press conference on the haze situation. The Pollutant Standards Index, or PSI, hit an all-time high of 371 at 1 p.m. on Thursday. We can't tell how this problem is going to develop because it depends on the burning, it depends on the weather, it depends on the wind. It can easily last for several weeks and quite possibly it could last longer until the dry season ends in Sumatra, which may be September or October. So we will need to adapt our response to suit the changing situation and to protect ourselves in practical and sustainable ways. Prime Minister Lee also announced medical subsidies for needy Singaporeans who fall ill because of the haze. Young Singaporeans aged 18 and below, elderly Singaporeans aged 65 and above, chess cardholders, public assistance and medical fee exemption cardholders who suffer from respiratory problems and conjunctivitis because of the haze can visit their GP, pay $10 and have the rest of the bills settled by the Ministry of Health. For most of us who are in good health, I think we'll be fine if we just take basic precautions like limiting outdoor activities and staying indoors where possible, depending on how bad the haze is. Starting today, later this evening, the government will hold daily press briefings to update Singaporeans on the haze situation and to recommend protective measures for the next day, for the day ahead. And NEA's website will be kept updated with information and with the guidelines. A haze inter-ministerial committee chaired by Defence Minister Dr Ng Eng Hen has been set up to protect public health and safety and will work with the Indonesians to mitigate the haze at the source. It will also issue clear guidelines on the protective measures at each PSI threshold. In the next clip, find out if the government will issue a stop work order.